Hey there creepy peeps and welcome to another new movie review. Today we're going to be talking about a documentary, Horror Noir. So I've only ever like actually devoted an entire video to one documentary one time, which was last year, which was Demon House, um, which I will link um, on the screen if you want to check it out. It was a pretty funny rant video, I think. Unlike Demon House, where I disliked it so much that I thought it deserved an entire rant video, I liked Horror Noir so much that I thought it deserved an entire review. So that's what we're gonna do. So directed by Xavier Bergen and adapted from a book of the same name by Robin Means Coleman, Horror Noir is a documentary that delves into the past century's worth of horror movies as well as the untold history of black Americans in Hollywood. Just talking about in general the structure of the documentary, I don't even really know how to review documentaries so I'm just kind of going with the flow. I'm just gonna put that out there before I get any comments. I mean like a lot of horror history documentaries go it does take it in chronological order which i feel like that's just the best way to do it because <laughs> horror has a very long history so it's easier kind of just to you know go in some sort of chronological order whether that be forwards or backwards then to the chronological order of the the doco gave it a very like awesome like hopeful and positive ending which i'm going to get to a little bit later on i also liked the variety of actors directors and scholars we had uh throughout the documentary there are a lot a lot a lot of familiar faces in here which i thought was really great this is just kind of like a stylistic choice but i had to throw this in there i actually really loved <laughs> the setup they had for the interviewees where they were sitting in a, a movie theater i just loved it because it matched the the movie poster which has like all of these uh well-known horror movie characters sitting in a darkened theater your girl loves a good theme and i love that we were staying on brand in terms of what i learned from the documentary um because that's really what a documentary is it's to inform even though it always is from somebody's point of view that's an important thing to remember with all documentaries i learned a lot obviously i learned a lot this was likely one of the best times ever to release this documentary like i mentioned earlier it ends on a very positive and hopeful note because it ends with jordan peele and get out it creates such like a positive and hopeful tone because like everybody all the interviewees when they when they start to talk about get out they're talking about how that movie and what jordan peele is doing really open is going to open like a lot of doors and it's like opening up this new era of black history in horror movies and just horror history in general and i really loved <laughs> i really loved the positive vibes the positive energy at the end of the documentary especially because a discussion like this like as you would imagine since they're going through time they start all the way back with uh, birth of a nation in the documentary so you can imagine as they're going through time there's a lot of dark violent sad not so positive history so i really like that they ended on a positive note because i feel like nowadays like on social media and in the news and all of that the energy isn't always that positive and hopeful so i like that this documentary was just like you know what we're going to look forward with good intentions and i liked that speaking of jordan peele too i couldn't help but think when i was watching the documentary um because it was like two weeks ago now a week and a half ago now something like that just the film community in general was talking about a statement that jordan peele said i honestly don't even know where he said this i just saw the quote that everyone was throwing around i imagine it was in an interview or something but he he said i don't see myself casting a white dude in one of my films or something like that the direct quote will be popping up on the screen some people were pointing out had a white director said this about any non-white race like people would be in, up in arms but you know everybody is okay with jordan peele saying it and other people were like myself included totally agree with the statement and don't see necessarily anything wrong with it and i feel like this documentary i don't think it was intended <laughs> it definitely wasn't intended to be but it works really well as kind of like an answer to that statement like if you don't understand why people are okay with what jordan peele said watch the documentary and i feel like it'll actually kind of answer that question but i don't think the documentary is set out to answer that question obviously it's based on a book and everything but it works well 
to answer that. Does that make sense? <laughs> uh, so for me, this is gonna go up there with Nightmares in Red, White, and Blue, which is like kind of like my quintessential horror documentary because it spans like the entire history of horror, at least up until it was made. But I feel like horror noir is now up there for me where it's just like a wealth of information and just kind of very, like a really great starting point, I think. And I think it's gonna continue to be a really good starting point for more horror fans that are getting into horror history and they wanna learn about it. Like those two documentaries for me are gonna be ones that I, automatically recommend to people like you want to get into horror watch these two <laughs> so i'm going to give this documentary a five out of five it's definitely again going up there with a documentary that i plan on watching many more times is that weird to watch documentaries over again i don't know like there are a couple documentaries that i've seen multiple times because i just really enjoy them is that weird do people watch documentaries more than once whatever i'm gonna watch it many more times um it's available on shutter too so you know if you have a shutter uh, subscription you can check it out but on imdb it has a 7.8 out of 10 on rotten tomatoes it has a 100 percent critic score and a 70 percent critic score both of those scores are out of 24 ratings and on letterbox it has a solid four out of five and i just thought i would look and see if i'll make this a thing i just want to see like what you guys think about it you follow me on letterbox I'm automatically gonna follow you back. I like to see what everybody thinks of movies, especially <laughs> when I get done watching them. But it looks like for the most part, pretty much everyone is the same here. Like, like everyone's pretty much like three and a half to four stars. Jay from uh, Blood Bath and Beyond is also five stars. A lot of four and five stars. Ben, more middle of the road, two and a half. It's like right down the middle. You're kind of on your own there, Ben. <laughs> You're kind of on your own, but that's okay. Everyone else is like three and a half to, to five stars. Because the average score is one thing. I just like to see how I fit in with people that I actually follow on Letterboxd. So if you've already seen Horror Noir, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about it. As always, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here and become a creepy poop today. I post videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You can ring that notification bell down there to be notified every time I post a video, even though it never works. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay strange. Bye. This video is brought to you by all these lovely creepy patron peeps that you see listed on the left hand side of the screen. If you want to find out the perks to being a creepy patron peep, you can follow that link that is in the description of this video. Um, no pressure, but it's there if you want to check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye!